Zzz, here comes the airplane. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with another pick from our Alpha Patron, Joel. Thank you so much for your support, Joel. It means the world to me. Thank you for everything. Um, we're going to be listening to two tracks today from Jefferson Airplane, which we have never done before on the channel, I don't believe. Um, I've, I think, heard a track from them before. Um, I don't know exactly which one it is, but I do know the name. It, it definitely rings bells. I know they were pretty big, too. Um, I know them from, like, pop culture and stuff like that. But other than that, um, I'm a newbie, so let's dive in. We're going to be listening to two tracks today. Like I said, the first one is Somebody to Love Live at Woodstock. And then I think the second one, we'll find out. <laughs> Alrighty. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon right below my face or Fleetwood Mac right there. Um, it really helped the channel out. I think we just hit 15K today. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we're on our way to 20. Uh, we'd love to have you. And I do a very much, like a huge variety of stuff. Um, there's no specific genre that this channel's for. It's just dedicated to finding good music. Doesn't matter where it is or where it comes from. It could be um, Bossa Nova Jazz Fusion. I don't give a fuck. Good music is good music. <laughs> Jefferson Airplane, somebody to love, live at Woodstock in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, friends, you have seen the heavy groups. Now you will see Morning Maniac music. Believe me, yeah. It's a new dawn. Yeah, the regular guys. Morning, people! Morning. Oh, the tambourine, I love it. I love the hat on the drummer, that's great. Her voice, oh my god. Oh, what a chorus. Dynamics, baby. Oh, my goodness, bro. She's beautiful, man. Oh, my God. Huh. 
the tambourine is awesome. I love when everyone comes and hangs out with this kid. What's up, guys? Psychedelic blues rock. Ooh, that was really good. The next one is White Rabbit, also live from Woodstock, August 7th, 1969. White Rabbit. on the personnel. So is this Grace? Sorry, like I said, I'm new to them. This looks completely different. I think I've heard this one before. I'm an addict, so yeah. I've heard this. Something else, man. She had a trip and a half, huh? Guys, oh. they get such a climax in such a short build-up too. That was so intense. Thank you. Woo. <laughs> Woo. That was awesome, man. I, even though I knew that song, like that still was so awesome to listen to, man. Seeing them live. Um, Sorry about the lyrics on the screen, but I'm kind of glad they were there so I could see them and read them like as she was singing. Um, yeah, that was definitely, she was describing a trip. I really, really like the feed your head part at the end. Like she's telling you to like, yeah, go explore your head because there's a lot of stuff in there that we don't even understand yet. Um, we barely understand um, a lot of where, <laughs> what our brain does. Like we understand, uh, we have names for things and like locations and we've been doing a lot of research into things for years about how our minds actually work, but we really don't know that much. You know, when it comes down to it, we have a lot of, um, assumptions and guesses. That's what a lot of science is, even though they say they have empirical data and blah, blah, blah. All their measures and standards are set by themselves. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not saying there's corruption in, <laughs> in the science sciences, but at the same time, um, I don't know. I just, it's hard to trust information these days coming from anywhere. Like there's so much information on the internet, but there's so like some, I think Cora said this, one of our patrons, like there's so much disinformation as well and i feel like that's on purpose i feel <laughs> i feel like they put all this crazy shit out there to like give people like it's almost like schizophrenia almost like they just 
pour out these just, I don't know, like these reels and these reels of just people talking nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Um, how far we have fallen since this Woodstock concert, that's basically what I'm getting at, you know? Like, we've come so far in so many other ways, but like, with ourselves, like our minds, and like our mental health, and I know back then wasn't perfect. It was it was like hell back then at some points. I know you guys have told me, and I and I know a lot about history, you know. But at the same time, I feel like our it was like almost like the height of our culture and our art and our music and stuff like that because there was so much turmoil and strife going on in the world, and people channeled that into their music while also people are discovering LSD and shrooms and all the stuff. Like the '60s were literally they changed everything, man. Um, like, just imagine the 50s and then imagine the 60s. Like, it's just complete different. It's like a flip, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like even it's 50, 60 years later, whatever. Um, I don't know, man. How far have we really come, honestly? Like, spiritually, we're, we're decaying, I feel like. And it's all because of this shit. And this is a YouTuber telling you this, you know what I'm saying? This is someone who uh, basically survives off of making videos and you watching them. But I'm telling you, these things aren't good for us. Um, they're really not. Uh, and I feel it myself and I've been trying to be less on my phone, more in the world, you know, and it's, I don't know, man, everyone's just buried in their phones, but all right. So I have a lineup. Let's see. Sorry. That was my, uh, spiel for the day. So this is 69. Let me find a, all right, there we go. All right. So I'm pretty sure Grace Slick was the vocalist. Um, Jorma Kakuin on lead guitar and vocals, Paul Cantor on vocals, rhythm guitar, uh, Spencer Dryden on drums, Jack Cassidy on bass, and um, also Marty Balin on bass and vocals, and Jack Kennedy, I don't know, this is for the album that came out in 69, not this performance, so I don't know exactly who played what, blah blah blah, I know Grace Slick, I've heard the name now, now that I've seen her name, I remember hearing about her, um, yeah, she's absolutely fantastic, her projection, her voice, the power, like, from her diaphragm, dude, it's absolutely nuts, like, she's one of those vocalists that probably wouldn't even need that mic to get her voice across that entire stadium, or entire Woodstock Festival, I mean, which is huge, like, look at that crowd, man, like, imagine all the ideas all the connections, all the intersections and nexus points that happened at that one place, just like the Monterey Pop Festival and how influential that was on everything that came after it, you know, all the new artists that were found there and got huge, you know, and I feel like it, the world has changed so much now that it's all digital, it's all online, like all the stuff that would happen, like what happened back then with festivals and blah, 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 and people getting discovered like that and like going viral for the 60s, you know, nowadays it's on TikTok or it's on YouTube or, you know what I'm saying? Like it, that's a whole new world now. And I grew up in a different world than it is now. Like I was born in the 90s. I grew up um, like you guys did. Let's just say that. Uh, after my dad died, at least, I basically uh, raised myself, let's <laughs> just say that, uh, after 10. And um, yeah, it, it, I had a rough life after that, I'm not going to lie. I've had a rough run of it up until recently, I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, it's probably the most put together I've been in a long time. And uh, even at that point, I'm still, I still have a lot of work to do, let's just say that, you know. Um, but I'm not perfect, I'm trying my best here. And uh, I really enjoy doing this. I don't want to not enjoy it. And I really appreciate you guys being here so much. I really do. Um, thank you for watching. I'd say that White Rabbit was my favorite out of this, obviously. I really like the first track, too, though. But the intensity and the power of the second one is un it's almost unmatched in just like that instant quick buildup. Like it was only like a minute and a half, two minutes, if that. You know what I'm saying? And they went from down here all the way up there and it's just insane to me how quickly they got to that climax and how powerful it was because like i'm used to prog you know songs taking eight minutes to get to the point almost you know and then the point happens and it's amazing obviously but this felt like a very very compressed version of that and like they just got there just so quick and it was it was worth it man it was so good sounding and uh yeah i think i am in love with grace slick's vocals because that was just what a performance man her power just the power radiating from her was in intense it was really really cool uh so thank you again to joel for that pick for these picks um hmm great 
another band to listen to, <laughs> which I'm actually happy about, man, because I've like discovered so many over the past year and a half that I've had this channel, almost two years now coming up in a month or two. I think it'll be two years since I started it. It didn't really even start. I didn't really start actually trying until like a year ago, and even then it didn't take off until recently. So I'm... um. This is all new to me, you know, I'm trying my best, and uh, I'm very proud of what we've accomplished here, and I love the uh, relationships that we fostered together, and uh, the communication that we have, It, um, I've learned so much from you guys, and I hope you guys know I really appreciate y'all, and uh, that was great, if you guys have any more tracks by Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Airplane, please leave them below, I'll definitely check them out, um, yeah, because that was fantastic, man, it really was, uh, it really, that second song, um, it kind of touched me, but like, not in that moving kind of way, more of just like a holy shit kind of way. And it made my hair stand up in my arms. And it was just really intense, man, especially as an addict that's done everything. Uh, <laughs> when I tell you everything, I've done everything except uh, what are those things that you don't have anymore? Um, it was at Wolf of Wall Street, Quaaludes. That's the only thing I've never done. Never done the Quaaludes before because <laughs> I wasn't around for them. Every other drug I've done, unfortunately. Uh, so I, I understand exactly what she's talking about. And, um, that's the thing, though. Acid, I mean, I remember maybe back then it did, but, like, I didn't ever, I never saw 10 foot, 10 feet tall, like, Alice and all this stuff on acid. Um, the only thing I really saw visuals from was DMT, I'd say, and that was in your mind. Shrooms, um, I got, like, trails, obviously, and visuals, and I felt amazing on shrooms, but acid was more of, like, I laughed at everything. Tons of like, you know, trails and like weird patterns and things breathing. You could see like, you can see reality breathing. Basically, you can see the framework, whatever uh, this is around us, like on a molecular level kind of moving. Because um, this is like some form of, not not like a simulation, I don't mean like that. But like, even if this, you know, if you want to talk about what the universe really is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Um, like, the whole universe could be a simulation for all we know. Or just it's like a video game and there's nothing except for what you see right now nothing's rendered like if i my door's closed behind me so for right now technically there's nothing there until i open that door you know that's i feel like sometimes that's what life is like but i know that it's not but my brain tries to tell me all these crazy things and i don't ignore them i always like speak them to you or, or i write them down because you never know i could be right about shit <laughs> like the time travelers like i really feel like there's time travelers that i see sometimes like you don't see them but you see them sort of thing it's like there's a movement i've i've seen some weird shit i'm not gonna lie i really really have uh without drugs <laughs> uh even at this place i'm at now man um there's yeah something wrong with this place i'm gonna sage it soon and i'm not even like that but i feel like it needs good cleansing motherfuckers what the fuck am i talking about that was great <laughs> i don't did i do the patreon thing i don't even know um there's a patreon link in the description um join the ten dollar tier or up and uh get one free request a month. There's also a PayPal link in the description uh, if you want to send it in that way. That's how Joel did his request. But if you join Patreon, there is uh, hours and hours of bonus content. I've got like three Beatles albums on there, uh, Sgt. Pepper, Abbey Road, Revolver, all done on there. Tons of Kink Crimson. There's all kinds of stuff. And you get to join our Discord and hang out. And it's pretty cool. We'd love to have you. And uh, that's it. I'm going to get out of here because I start talking crazy when we start, you know, talking universe metaphysics and stuff and such um so bye